Okay, we just started her up. Engines run nice and clean. Nice flow. I put the uh, quick disconnect for uh, flushing it with the fresh water hose. These um, uh, wiring harness covers are uh, brand new. I installed them myself. Got um, your hydraulic steering, obviously. We'll go down below, I'll show you. All new pumps in the bilge here, and switch. Got a new hydraulic pump for the trim tabs. Um, got relatively new uh, fuel filters for the uh, fuel. Got nice storage down below here. This uh, compartment goes all the way forward. Got rod storage on the sides. Here we have the uh, live well. I'm not sure of the exact capacity, but it's a great live well, and it's got a nice uh, high depth. It's got a nice depth to it, so uh, definitely enough for pilchers and uh, goggles. Got insulated storage here with drain. Got fresh water shower on this side. This is all brand new. <coughs> new hose that I did recently. Got great access back here to everything on both sides. Uh, fishing rod holders, obviously. Uh, you got the uh, rocket launchers. This one's at an angle here. Uh, got a pretty standard uh, leaning post seat. You notice this has all been done in Linex. All of the uh, uh, powder coat was stripped off and I put line X on it in 2016. This stuff is absolutely indestructible and actually is a good grip when wet. All the vinyl you see is redone in 2016 all the way around. The uh, other great feature of this boat is this extra large teat top. Most fishing guys say uh, it's not a fishing top. Well, when you have your girlfriend on the boat, I'm telling you, she's gonna love you for this thing. So this has all been done in Line X as, as well, uh, with new canvas that was done in 2016. I'm gonna turn off the engines here. Uh, we got LED uh, cockpit light that changes red, white, and blue. We got under gunnel uh, LED lights that are blue. We got underwater lights that are blue. We got nice. Uh, this is salt water washed down with Quick Connect. And we have uh, fresh water washed down over here, also with Quick Connect. Um, got nice storage here underneath for sandals and stuff. Uh, let's see, we got the, cons the seat storage. Um, then let's move on to the uh, head. Got a great head up here. This uh, toilet's hardly used, but it works great. great shower in here this pressure here we have uh, this, this switch panel as you can see everything's really nice and clean in here this is the uh, the new 10 inch subwoofer I had put in there's a uh, amp in here somewhere I forget where he installed it but a 400 watt Jensen amp you got these really nice uh, battery switches the charger and two house uh, one house battery and one for each engine just a really clean wiring set up here. Everything really easily accessible. Got toilet paper there. All right, what's really nice about this uh, head is that the clamshell door, so you can step down very easily. Don't have to crouch. Just a really nice uh, design feature. We've got saddle tanks, 230 gallons, one on each side. Those are aluminum. This, these cushions were all replaced. Uh, got storage under here that's insulated. We got deck storage here. This holds rods too, three rods each. Actually four rods. Got my dive equipment there. Okay. Uh, again, the bow rail's been completely line x All the cushions, the bolster cushions been completely redone 2016. This uh, hatch is brand new, 2016-2017 uh, Bomar hatch with the white trim and white glass instead of the original 
aluminum trim and dark glass. We got a recessed bow cleat up here and recessed uh, navigational lights, which is really nice. Here's the uh, anchor locker. Got the anchor, got the chain. It's been raining, so I haven't given it full detail, but it will be detailed. Let's take a look at the top. Got uh, the GPS antenna that don't really need anymore. Navig uh, anchor light and the two radio antennas. Okay, then we'll check out down below. So you got a really nice wide step down. Got magnetic catch there for the door. And then here you can see you got a really nice overnight berth. Uh, there's a table here that folds down. That's the aluminum post that goes into the floor to hold up the table if you want to have seating. We've got a, a microwave here, practically never been used. Got a refrigerator here, also practically never been used. Super clean, got no issues there. Got nice uh, storage under, oh, you got these uh, rope lighting around the edges and we have these new um, reading lights on both sides, LED. This is the, uh, cover for the entire boat it's practically brand new it's literally never been used have engine covers as well this is a new headliner that was done also in 2016 all these all these cushions were redone in 2016 it's really nice down here got nice storage here nice storage here and underneath these steps is a space for if you would like to put an air conditioning in the boat you can put it down there it's a nice feature um, and then the sound system, just going back to that, I got these, uh, outdoor speaker. These are, I think, six inch subs with tweeters. These are completely sealed box speakers. They're completely watertight. I got four of those. One, two, here's the sub outside the console, three, four, you see that? So, uh. The stereo cranks, that's for sure. Got this nice hose I just put in for uh, wash down. And uh, that's about it. This is a great, it's got these captain's chairs back here. Also have uh, bean bags. Another really nice thing about this swim platform is it's very easy to get in and out of. Let me just show you that really quick. Got a three step ladder here. That is just absolutely great. So you can see, it's really easy entry and egress, particularly when you're diving. Uh, this big swim platform, engine platform, is absolutely great for getting in and out of the water. What's up, guys? So that's it. 2005 31-foot Jupiter center console Cuddy. You got 220, 225 Yamahas with uh, about 800 hours on them each. Um, been recently, well, they've been serviced every year and recently had the fuel injectors replaced uh, and the uh, trim and tilt motor um, uh, switches were replaced. So it's just a great overnighter. It's a great fishing boat. Really covers all the bases. Bunch of guys fishing, small family, want to overnight. This is really a great all-arounder. It's not too big where you can pull into restaurants to go to dinner if you're cruising or coastal. You know, it's just a it's just a really nice boat. So uh, thanks for taking the time and appreciate your uh, attention. Any questions, please call me on the listing below. Thank you.